Hi there. In this video I'll show you how to use JSNMR on a normal computer like this one. So the first thing I'll do is I'll open up a browser window and type in the URL and I'll go for the empty JSNMR window at this website. Like this. So you see there are all the buttons up here and you have the scale but you don't have any spectrum. Now, I received an email recently. That's a icon NMR data mail. That is a, a data file automatically generated by a broker a spectrometer run in automatic mode. It sends me a 1D spectrum here as a zip file. The easiest way is just to drag this zip file over to the spectrum window. And then you see that it has actually loaded the spectrum. Uh, and we are ready to move on from this. So having loaded the spectrum, we are now ready to explore in further detail the possibilities of JSNMR. And first of all, I want to show you that if you have the status bar shown in the bottom of the window, then as you move the mouse over the individual buttons, you see a small description of the button down in the status bar. Okay, so first of all, we see that the horizontal zoom is pressed by default. This means that if we click the window, we can zoom in and zoom out by moving the window back and by moving the mouse button back and forth. If we want to activate the vertical zoom, we can do that as well. And we can do both horizontal and vertical zoom at the same time. Okay, that's the first issue. Second, we can face the spectrum if we want to. So just clicking and moving up and down. And then we can also use a second order phase, uh, sorry, a first order phase shift. Now we have set the pivot point over here. So if I click the Alt button at the same time as I move the pointer to another location, you can see there is a yellow line showing the uh, showing the pivot point. And then we can use a first order phase correction. Now I can also type in the value that I want to set, and I just reset it. Peak pitting is simply you move the mouse towards or close to the peak and then you just select the peaks. Now back with the full spectrum again. If I feel that the window is too unresponsive uh, when I uh, use the mouse, I can reduce the number of points by clicking this button here. Then it creates a new spectrum with a reduced number of points. I can do that as many times as I want. But what you notice is that the line broadening get, or the line width gets broader and broader because uh, JSNMR automatically adds line broadening to avoid sync wiggles when you truncate the FID. So at some point it doesn't work anymore. If I zoom in here, you'll see that at least the magenta one certainly doesn't work. I can delete that again. And then the rest of them actually seem to be quite fine. I will, however, delete the two most recent spectra. And, and notice over here, I can select either spectrum uh, just by clicking the tile over here. And I'll reduce the red, uh, remove the red one. And then I, the last thing I want to show you is that I can prepare the window for printing. So pressing the print button here, and in this case, I'll actually select output PDF in preview. And I'll remove it, reduce it in size such that you can see it here. Now, the, the nice thing about this PDF is that it is uh, vector based, so I can actually save it and I can import it into Adobe Illustrator and I can modify it as I like. So you really have a vector based presentation of your spectrum here. Now, that is all for now. If you need help, then click this button here, the help button and then it'll open the JSNMR help that describes the features of JSNMR. Enjoy!